we're gonna meet up with Tessa. We met her last time. Oh, yeah. That's like what this is all about. Make friends along the way, meet back up with them, and it's exciting. Hey, how's it going? What's up guys? This is my friend Tessa. I met Tessa a month ago when Jason and I were here for the SCA. She works here at the Starbucks Roastery, which is a pretty amazing place. And today we're going to talk about how we all have challenges, we all have battles, and in those battles we may face pain, and pain is inevitable, it's a part of life, but suffering is optional. And we often group the two together, but they're actually completely separate. And you can have large amounts of pain, but choose not to suffer. Pain is the situations around us that we can't control and they happen to us, but suffering is when those things break us. And a lot of my pain is all over my body. You've seen my scars, but a lot of her pain is internal. She's been through some really tough stuff, but she's amazing. And like, Tessa, what's something you would say has helped you in, in your pain to, to see light and to have hope, I guess? So to have hope, uh, I think one of the big things for me is just recognizing that so much is temporary and that I am um, and not always good at this, but I was really lucky to have a lot of people around me who were capable of looking bigger than what I was going through. And so being able to take a step back and look at the reality as this big versus this big, which is what I was going through. Um, as well as just knowing that like at the end of the day, we're still here. We still have an opportunity, and feeling your feelings is one of the best things that you can do to process through the grief pain. So to give grief a seat at the table, and to let it be your wisest teacher, and to let it be a companion versus this thing that you try to fight. Wow, wise words. And I think that's so like that's so true and so important. A lot of people think like, oh, to not suffer, I need to smile and wave and kind of grip my teeth and act like it's not there. But I think pain is important. Pain is, it shows us how deeply some of these things affect us, how, you know, losing somebody, the pain shows how much they meant to them. It's not that you try to not cry and be strong. Cry, mourn, and experience it, but you can hold on to the hope and not be broken by it just because of this deep amount of pain. So, Tessa, thank you. Thanks, man. Awesome getting together, getting a last minute, coffee break between uh, I fly out at 6 a.m. and hit her up on Instagram and said, hey, let's grab coffee. So, see you next time. Hopefully she'll make to Florida. <laughs>